Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're doing Expedition 6, The Blighted Phase 2. And we're going to get stuck into that. This is actually a lot easier than the first phase. It's not as bad. We've built up the resources that we need and we've gathered quite a few bits on the way. So this shouldn't be too difficult as long as we approach it in the right order. So let's have a look. So we're going to have to have a rendezvous. And then we are going to be seeking a lost freighter. And then visiting a pirate system. And then collecting gravitino balls. And then visiting a green star system. So we've already visited a red star system. And while we were in the red star system, we gathered cadmium. Which means actually we can go to a uh, green star system if we've installed the drive in our starship. So if you haven't actually done this and you've just skipped through that like we did in the last video, if you look, we've left our freighter in that system so we know which one it was. So you can quickly walk back there if you want to, gather the cadmium that you need, install it into your drive and then you can go to a green star system uh, which is where we're going to be picking up Emeril. So we need to head here. So we'll head over here now and then once we're here we need to find a planet with emerald on it preferably one that hasn't got any sentinels on it or anything like that so we'll just have a look round and see what there is I think this one in front of us should be alright so we've triggered our thing and that means we've unlocked that first tab so like I say we're going to be doing this in backwards order so we'll head down to this planet and we'll gather the emerald that we need a good idea to actually do this um, as well because then you can unlock the next drive, the Neum drive because later on you are going to have to visit a blue star system and it saves you having to mess about later on jumping off and doing this so all we need to do is the same as before like you did with copper like you did with cadmium just look for emerald and then either use your starship to fly about and get it as quick as you can and mine it all out or do it on foot, whichever one you fancy. By now, if you've done the tricks that we've used in the first video and you've got the ships, then you've built up quite a bit of money and nanites by selling them off and stuff like that. You should have no problem like buying launch fuel and stuff like that. So even though your launch thrusters aren't rechargeable, uh, you should be able to navigate that by now. You should be OP with the amount of money that you've got if you've uh, sold your vector. And even if you happen to have any Twitch ships, which I did, um, so I sold a couple of them as well. So we'll keep on gathering a bit more of this, head back into our starship, and then we'll head off again. See if we can find some more. I don't think we need much more. One more should do it. We need one big one, really. If we can find one big one, then we're absolutely sorted. And this looks like it's an alright one. I'll dig this one out. I think this is going to be quite big. Yeah, that should have plenty. That should have everything that we need. We're going to uh, turn that into the idiom drive, like I said. And then that's, that's one of the steps that we don't have to worry about later on down the line. It's the same with nanites. You need to be building up as many nanites as you can as fast as possible. So every little opportunity you get to grab some nanites, even if it's sort of like something on a wall, or if you happen to pass some runaway mould while you're knocking about, or if you're in a space station and there's some pugnium for sale, anything that you can grab your hands on it like that um, start refining that down as well you, uh, if you come across uh, some of the broken machinery and stuff that's laying around you can pick up uh, some of the funguses and stuff that you can then refine into runaway mold which will turn into nanites uh, even though it's like trickling until you get to the pirate system it's worth doing to build them up because you're going to need nanites later on for something so alright here we go so we've just got everything that we need from this system and we're going to head over to rendezvous so we're going to have to do a couple of jumps by the look of it so here we go we'll whiz through these as fast as possible while you're doing these as well uh, make sure you visit the um, space stations in each one and pick up your um, exo suit upgrades and it looks like, by total pure coincidence, which wasn't planned because I'd worked out how I was going to do the order for this for you guys, 
that we have happened to have landed in a pirate system. Uh, this didn't happen on the run through last time and it also happened to be a blue star system as well. So it's killed two badges uh, in one go. Which, you know, that's luck of the draw I suppose that happens. Uh, don't worry though, because what I'm going to do is, uh, towards the end of the video, I'm still going to show you the method that I used uh, to find this lawless system because obviously it's going to ask you to get a conflict scanner and they're like you need to get a walker brain to unlock that and everything like that which is like it can be a faff around so we're going to use a different way to do it which is a lot easier but uh, we've unlocked this as well from expedition 4 phase 4 sorry but we're not going to unlock that we're going to leave it as it is and we're going to wait until expeditions phase 4 video for that what we're going to do is actually while we're here this is what I was on about this is the nanites thing so he sells larval cores and he sells hadal cores so grab them stick them into your portable refiner and refine them all down into nanites you are going to get an immense load of nanites for doing this like I'm talking thousands of nanites for doing this and the reason that you want to do it is because later on in one of the phases you're going to have to recruit some squadrons and to do that it takes nanites and it's a lot of nanites so lucky for us we've landed in this system straight away and we've managed to do that straight off the bat quite early but even if this was going to be two or three missions down the line for you you were still going to do it in this phase so I would recommend that you do it straight off the bat in phase two and it's going to save you a lot of leg legging it about in phase four or five later on right so we'll keep going we'll buzz through these systems uh, making sure that when we do we go to the space stations and we grab our exosuit upgrades and we can chuck anything that we need to sell we might have anything that we've picked up along the way opened any crates or anything keep going land it in the rendezvous system and then once we've done that we're going to hit the last three up we'll just hit this up quick grab the exosuit again like I say keep doing that every single time because it's worth it because it's like really cheap you've got loads of money you don't have to worry about it and it's opening a slot up every time which you know the more room that you have in this game at the moment the better because you are literally on nothing when it comes to expeditions when you start so right we're in expeditions system now that we need to be in to trigger the last thing that we're going to do uh, but what we're going to do first is we're going to land on this planet and we're going to come off the rendezvous that we're on and we're going to just going to hit this one converted suns and we're going to land on this planet now you can see this planet it's called lad for us and you'll see these yellow things here gravitino balls we want to grab these i think we need 16 and once we've grabbed them that's that out the way and we don't have to worry about that badge we can ping that one off that's all done it is going to activate sentinels and they are going to come at you in full force but to be honest just leg it away from them and grab as many as you can once you hit your ship or uh, once you dig underground with a terrain manipulator and you've grabbed everything you need as soon as that uh, sentinel thing deactivates like that it'll ping the badge and then you're done that's that one done nice and easy and uh, yeah grab your ship fly out of there and then you can head towards the rendezvous we'll get that badge and then once we've done that we'll have the final one and then this will this phase done so we'll just head to the space station again because we picked up quite a few gravitino balls there and uh, yeah it's not good because uh, they take up a lot of inventory space but they're worth a lot of money so we'll sell, sell them all out uh, we'll use up our uh, extension thing that we got for opening that tab clean up a bit do a bit of housekeeping because we're coming towards the end of the phase just make sure we've got everything in order so that we're fresh on our heads so that we can start phase three we'll just head over here for a second we'll go in here and here we go so if you weren't able to be lucky like I was and find that uh, pirate system straight off the bat what you would do is you would come in here and you would have to buy the teleport receiver which would then give you the opportunity to unlock the next thing you need now it's going to ask you in the mission to use 
the uh, conflict scanner which you can see you need a walker brain which is quite hard to get you because you have to take on sentinels and we haven't really got that much about us to be taking on sentinels at the moment because we're not really done up very well so what we do is we get the economy scanner instead the uh, economy scanner is a lot easier to install all you're gonna need is microprocessors and wiring looms and it's done and that is it uh, obviously we'll just stick the uh, the teleport receiver in which means we're going to actually be able to send stuff from the freighter which is going to be a lot easier because when it's far away at the moment we can't do anything with it but now it's in the same system we'll be able to send uh, stock to it and stuff like that from planet surfaces which will make our lives a lot easier as well for the rest of the run um, so yeah once we've done that what we'll do is we'll head into space and I'll show you how this works all you have to do is head into your galaxy map and then once you're in your galaxy map you just have to look for a certain type of system and it is dead easy to do right here we go look right okay so what we're looking for is a system that has got a black market on it so you see this here it's got a black market on it right okay you see it in commercial right at the back it'll say black market now I know it's got a pirate skull on it because that's the one we discovered but even if it didn't have that on it the pirate skull you would still be able to see with the economy scanner that it says black market underneath the commercial economic part of the scanner see whereas that one doesn't so if it says black market that means it's a pirate system and we're able to then circumnavigate having to get that walker brain to do that part so that's how I would have done it if it hadn't have just landed me in a pirate system and completely ruined the order of everything that I had sorted for this video I was well annoyed when that happened but I thought right we'll roll with it and we'll still do it uh, things like that are gonna happen it's like getting the um, getting the tag for finding the blue system even though we weren't planning on it and that was in rendezvous 4 uh, like I say that's going to happen I mean you can actually plan out these expeditions so that you um, actually um, can do like near enough everything in the first system uh, like you did with the other ones there's ways and means of doing it so right we've landed on this planet and we've just unlocked that rendezvous so that rendezvous has given us uh, the place that we need to go next which is going to be a uh, freighter I think I'm not sure I can't remember what it said but yeah we'll just unlock the tag for it and then we'll go ahead and we'll also unlock the tag for the converted suns that we got for doing the gravitino balls that's given us some multi-tool expansions uh, which is good and a scatter blaster which is good as well because we're going to be coming up against sentinels later on in one of the phases I think you have to kill like 25 sentinels so I suggest uh, from now on I think it's like phase 4 from now on if you're in a space station and you see a scatter blaster module that's like an S class just grab it and then stick it in your inventory along with this and then you're going to have quite a powerful scatter blaster to fight these sentinels with but right so it's telling us to go over to this lost freighter and this is the last step that we need to take in phase two and then we're ready to move on so this is going to give us a little bit more lore this one as well uh, we've gathered a, a pirate uh, treasure map in the last one and we started to learn a little bit more about the blight didn't we so hopefully this captain's log that we found in the last one uh, we'll find another one here and then we'll be able to see what we need to do so all we have to do is we land on the planet and we hop out and we pull out our target sweeper and we just align it so it's about a thousand two hundred U's in that direction so oh, can't place a marker I thought I could get cheeky then but yeah, we'll jump back in our ship and we'll head in that general direction and it's up to you how you do it you can either sort of roam around in your ship and try and land it and see if it'll uh, pop in or you can jump onto the planet and you can uh, leg it there yourself I think I should have done that to be honest because uh, I landed and I was only a thousand odd years away from it and I tried to be clever and land it in the ship and I ended up bleeding miles away from it so then I had to end up just legging it up the side of a mountain as you can see anyway which didn't work out to plan which, uh, so I thought yeah thank god for uh, thank god for fast forward eh <laughs> that did not work out how I wanted it to at all never mind 
the last time I ran it in practice run it uh, it worked quite well as well so I was a bit gutted this time around but here we go we found our crash freighter and this is it let's see what the law of this one has to say so communicator power source damage connecting to backup power limited functionality available please select an option so let's read the logs see what it says it is hopeless we can't outmaneuver them they are jumping between systems so quickly I've gone over the calculations three times now and it's not just physically possible there is no warping away our mission has ended in failure something left in search of the last something but having seen what this blight is capable of I can hope for their success if you survive to find this, look for our piece of the something still intact. Cargo hold, their secret could. Uh, let's contact the fleet. See if we can establish communications and find anything else out. So this blight just keeps popping up, doesn't it? No, no response from that. Downloading last coordinates. Oh, what's that? Warning, last known un location underwater. Well, it looks like we're going underwater for phase three then. So we'll just head over here, because it said to pop into the cargo holds and have a look in the cargo pods to see if there was something in there. I'm assuming this is where we're going to get our next piece of the map from to find this treasure that we're after. So we'll just blast these doors down and go in here. Open this cargo pod, pop this in here, that's chromatic. And then it'll give us a pirate map fragment 2 of 3. Partial coordinate data required for the freighter shot down by pirate fraction the blight. The chart is sightened with a snippet of pirate manifesto. This galactic tunnels belongs to the blight. The navigational information is corrupted but appears to be linked. Mm, linked to the last one we got. So there you go. That's unlocked the last one in this phase and that's got us the complete phase done. Like I say, it's the best way to do this is to do it backwards. So don't worry too much if you followed the last video and we didn't pick up the cadmium. You can always just jump back into the next system, grab that, and then start with the last badge uh, and then work your way backwards. If you get lucky, you get lucky and it's going to unlock a few things. But if not, uh, get that economy scanner. Uh, don't bother trying to get the uh, conflict scanner. The economy scanner is a much quicker way to do it and a much more better use of your time and resources. And uh, yeah, that should uh, do it for now. So there you go. We'll just unlock that. And that is it. Expedition reward received for phase two. Dread Captain posters, outlaw posters. Cool. We'll have a look at that in a bit. There they go. I'll pop into my legacy and have a look at that after I finish this. That looks quite cool, doesn't it? They look awesome then. So there you go. So there you go. All done. Nice and lovely. That's what we wanted. Nice, quickest, simplest way. Thank you very much, guys. It's been a good one, this one. I enjoyed it. I will uh, see you all for episode 3 while we tackle phase 3 of Rendezvous 6. But for now, please like and subscribe. And thank you very much. Take care, you sends.